Now, you can actually reach people that are outside your network if you share a group. Now, there are, there are groups on Facebook. These groups really do help to expand your, your reach. And thank you. That's the next topic. I'm going to show you, let's see, I'll show you my view. Okay, this is what this is what you would see if you went to my profile. Um, all right. See, here's my reading list, my recommended books. Here are <coughs> groups that I share with Pam. Of course, I do. Neely MBAs at TCU. There is a Neely. There's a Gmail users group. Wonder how many of those are. Bunch of people in that group. Um, e office. If you're into Myers Briggs, you can find a group for your type. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's pretty compulsive. <laughs> Mary School of Business at TCU Alumni. There's a TCU group. Let's go look at that one. There's a group for just about anything that you want. All right, let's, I'm going to look at the members and see how many there are. There are 106. That's not a very big group. All right, we're going to go to groups. And this is how you find a group. Groups directory. Why now? All right, these are the featured groups. They pay for the privilege of being there. So featured groups. I'm going to put um, largest. Kind of like looking for keywords with a keyword. A keyword. All right. Some of the largest groups really are listed here because they have put the word largest in their description. This is one of the largest groups that I have found. It's the eMarketing Network. There are 226,000 members in the eMarketing Network. What that does for you, if you join that group, of course it says I'm already a member, but like down here, this one is for entrepreneurs and this is for consultants. eMarketing doesn't mean that you have to have a job in marketing. It doesn't mean that you majored in marketing. It just means that you understand not, not even understand. You're interested in how people market themselves over the internet. That's it. You just have an interest. So I would suggest that everybody join this group and make it like 40 people bigger. What happens is once you join this group, you suddenly can contact all of these 226,000 people directly without having to know their email address and without going through an introduction. So as you're joining the groups, you can join up to 50, 50 groups. I suggest that you join some large groups that will help to expand your searchable reach when you're looking for contact someplace. Join some large groups like this. Uh, there's some jobs groups that are really large. I would just kind of look down here. There's several here. The other thing that you should be looking for are groups that tell something else about you. I'm, I'm in a musician's group because my undergrad degree is music education. I know, how did I get into career services? Well, by way of healthcare and then something about construction and other kind of stuff. Careers are never straight. They're all over the place. So, <coughs> Take a look, you can look at, at my list and see it's pretty diverse. There's a Facebook group, probably a lot of people in that group. You don't have to stay in the same groups forever. You may choose 10 groups, 20 groups. The more large groups you join, however, gives you more people to search. You noticed in that, in that list for GSA, one of the people, the name, one of the, the people in that list, their name was not revealed. That means they're not in a group with me, and they don't, they're don't. they more than two degrees away from me, or three degrees. So that means I can't see their name, unless I pay the premium, and I don't want to do that. I want this to be free. I believe in public stuff.